Hi guys, this is going to be my review of Opera Ab Eterno by Periquitos. So I want to more or less break this up into four different categories. The first being general things about the band, the second thing being about the writing of the music, the third thing being about the theme of the music, and the fourth thing being the rating. Getting into the general parts of the band, this is what I have to say. I talked to Nicholas Buss about this release, and I had previously reviewed Sigurd's Lam, which was the first EP for Periquitos, and this was when Periquitos more or less his starting out point for his project. He's also just a really good guy, you know. The members of the band are Nicholas Buss, otherwise known as Wunjin. He does the vocals and the music composition. He's also the storyteller on the vocals and on later songs Adam. Nicholas more or less took over this project for this band. And the other member of the band is Emil Schmewak. He does the vocals for God and he was a former lead vocalist of the band. Periquitos is from Finland. It was Smailik and Lynching that established Periquitos probably in 2003. Smailik is more or less one foot in the band and one foot out of the band. Smailik came up with the lyrics for this project. Smailik is currently translating the lyrics for this project. Lynching feels that Smailik felt that using ideas from the Bible was the only option to stand out from other bands in this genre. Wunjin started his career in 2002 with Northern Flame, which is his first band project ever. Periquitos has only played in Sweden twice, but he would love to play in his home country, Finland. He says going abroad is kind of difficult right now with the pandemic and all. Some of the band's influences are Avantasia, Pantocrator, Antester, Crimson Moonlight, and Drottner. Why Wunjin is really doing this project is because he liked what Smailik did and his reason for writing it, and he liked Avantasia, what they did with their music, and he also borrowed the theme from Blood by Pantocrator. They first started recording this stuff in 2010, but they didn't finish up stuff, like especially the keyboards, until 2019. The guests on the album are Emma Backman, who does the Angel, clean vocals, and on Waiter Two Songs, Eve, uh, she's a classical vocalist. Joel Johnsong does Satan's voice, and he does death metal growls. The last guest on this project is Rolf Pivy, who does drums, and he's in some other popular secular bands. Wunjin is currently working on Northern Flame, which is like 99% done, but he says this takes up a lot of his time. Now let's move into the writing process. Wunjin and Emil composed most of the stuff at the beginning together on almost all the songs. Wunjin later had more musical ideas and Shmelek the lyrics. For the second album, he probably has composed 75% of the music. It was only the two of them composing lately. They used a drum machine on their first album, but they then took on Ralph Pivy as a session drummer. He had some artistic freedom in creating the drum parts. Schmelik has done all the lyrics on the first and second album totally. On the first album, it was Schmelik that did the growls until Wunjin picked it up later. Wunjin liked Schmelik's idea and went on composing from there. When Schmelik left the band or became inactive for years, Wunjin just didn't really want to drop it because he just thought it was really important. Wunjin chose the name Opera because he liked the band Avantasia and their concept. This is kind of a symphonic unblack metal opera in comparison because there are different vocalists appearing in songs later. It's not totally a new concept anymore but not many people are trying to include different vocalists in this genre. Finally, let's move on to the theme. The name, the name Opera Ab Eternal can be roughly translated as Opera from the Beginning. In a general sense, it's kind of like this. The angels are glorifying God in heaven, and this is outside of time. Something sinister happens at the end. 
Secondly, the fall of Satan. Satan rebels and is cast down from heaven. And thirdly, the creation. God creates the universe, planet Earth, etc. And the rest of the EP is part two to four, is his attempt to set the music events in the first books of the Old Testament. Nicholas just used the term classical opera as a composition work, where there are many songs and parts of a larger work and different characters. More vocalists will be added later officially when more songs are ready. He wanted to try and put into music and words what happened in the beginning of everything, or time. When all EPs are ready, they will build up an album of wholeness. Let's move on to the categories, shall we? First in the rhythm and white of the notes, the rhythm slash sounds is wifting and bright. The pace is fast and energetic. The wares are harmonizing. The heaviness or lightness of the music is clear and emotional. And the rhythm in general is brisk and piercing. For the notes and light of the depth, the progression or climaxing is relentless and heartfelt. The complexity is invigorating, impassioned, and I do appreciate the decrescendo there. The composition is captivating, anticipative, and dreamy. The atmosphere is compelling and vibrant, and the notes are accompanying, expressive, and cool. So for this, I'm going to give it a 2.3 out of 2.5. Very good category there. For the depth in terms of the listenability, the synergy is instinctive and passionate. The production, whether tasteful or not, is kind of hard to identify. The noise and sounds are loud and cold. The genre in terms of original or defining I find are progressive, grandiose, and epic. And the depth in a general sense is rousing and lifting. So overall I'm going to give that a 2.0 out of 2.5. For the listenability in terms of the rhythm, the flow from one song to the next is proficient pleasant and strong. The smoothness is a little plucky. Uh, the predictability is satisfying, clear, and renaissance. The groove is wavy, and the listenability in a generic sense is atmospheric, booming, and heartfelt. So for this category, I'm going to give it a 2.1. So overall, that's going to give it an 8.3 out of 10. This has been my review of Opera Ab Eterno by Paracletos. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.